Hey, what's going on everybody? Manny Ortiz here. And the other day I collabed with two other photographers here in Chicago. We met up, we had a great time, and we got some great images. The gear that I'm using in the photo shoot is the Sony A9 with the 70-200 2.8G Master. I only used it for a couple of shots, but I'm mainly using the 35mm 1.4 Sigma. Now I normally don't use the 35mm for my portraiture, but I wanted to kind of do something different and just incorporate more of the background into my shots. So the lighting setup that I'm using here is the Godox 8200 flash with the Pear Pop 38 inch Octobox. I'm going to leave the link down in the description box. This is my go to setup for run and gun shoots like we're doing here. So for this shot here I busted out the 70 to 200 because I wanted to keep the, the bridge in the background but just give it a different perspective on it. So the compression at 200 millimeter will allow me to do that. Now one of the main reasons why I don't reach for this lens much is because at 200 millimeter it's really hard to communicate with the model as you see here I'm giving hand gestures and that's not that's not something I like to do much I, I prefer to be really engaged with the model and that's why you see me use lenses like the 50 and 85 millimeter for my portraiture so for this shot I left the power of the flash the same I left everything the same I just changed the angle I wanted to use the water as a backdrop and with that beautiful beautiful hair light um, I was really happy with how this shot came out here I originally was going to use flash but I decided to just go natural light uh, when you're shooting a heavily backlit situation like this and you're exposing for the background you're gonna have shadows on your model but you know with the dynamic range of the Sony A9 I had no issue bringing back those shadows and getting a great image So when I'm shooting in the city, one of the little tricks that I do is instead of always using the sun as a backlight, you can also use the sun's reflection off buildings as a backlight and it's going to give you a very similar effect. It's also going to allow you to use a different composition which is probably the main reason why I do this. And by adding the flash in high speed sync mode, I was able to really darken that background and just add a lot of drama to this shot. This photo coming up is my favorite photo of the entire session. I asked the model to run her hands through her hair using both hands, closing her eyes, kind of giving me that majestic feel. The reflection off the building got really strong and it just gave this beautiful glow in the back. I mean, I was absolutely blown away when I got this shot. Guys, don't be afraid to use the sun as the main light. Just make sure your model's not squinting and turn down the saturation of the oranges in Lightroom. I really wanted to get a dramatic hair photo, especially since the wind began to pick up. And to get this shot, it's about patience, timing, and sometimes a little bit of luck. So as we were walking to the next location, I noticed this really nice patch of light on the bridge. So I wanted to capture it. I posed the model, exposed for the background, and filled her in with the flash. I really love the results. One simple way to add motion into your shots is just by asking the model to walk and pose at the same time. Uh, this usually gives me really nice lifestyle looking photos. In this shot, I love the way the light was hitting the building behind her. Luckily, I had a 35 millimeter. I was able to get down really low and capture it. I want to thank David Turnbull for coming out and shooting alongside me. It was a pleasure. Uh, this David does some really good work. Make sure to check him out on Instagram at David Turnbull Photography. My man Emmanuel Luciano, he's a local here in Chicago. I just met him. Dude, it was great meeting you and uh, looking forward to collaborating in the future. Last but not least, I want to thank Devin. She modeled for us. She did a great job. Um, she is an upcoming model. Make sure to follow her on Instagram. She has a great feed. But most importantly, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I just hit 19,000 followers. And I try to post at least one photo a day. So if you guys like what you see, 
uh, go over to Manny Ortiz photo on Instagram. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Make sure to follow me and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more content coming, guys. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.